We're here at the Cleveland Country Club just off the ninth green after the Lady Flames finish up round two of the NCAA South Region Championship, and I'm here with Coach Moppin. And, Coach, uh, another tough day out there for your ladies, but you guys were able, after a slow start on the front, you were able to battle back, make some shots up on the back nine. You sit in ninth place right now. Your thoughts on round two? I thought uh, on the backside, I thought we did a really good job. You know, when we, we didn't have much momentum going, everybody that came through, we just talked about, hey, let's, let's you know, kind of start fresh on this back nine and, and play a good team back nine. And I thought uh, just saw a little bit better energy. We seemed to get some momentum, uh, make a few birdies, so that helps. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I just I thought we did a good job on the back nine. Front was obviously kind of a tough start, um, but uh, but I was glad that we were able to kind of finish strong. So And you were led today by Annika Gino, a two over par 74. We talked about her a little bit yesterday, how she was able to, able to rebound from one bad hole and put together, really she's put together two nice rounds for you so far. Yeah, she has. I mean, Annika's a great player. She's had a very nice season for us, and she's been very consistent and reliable. And uh, once again today, just did a really good job. I mean, she, anytime she got in trouble, she did a good job of minimizing the damage and giving herself a chance to make birdie on the next hole. So, yeah, very, very pleased with how she's done for us. Well, and you should, as you look at the leaderboard, and we've said this, but for our listeners who may not realize it, just explain how tough this field is because really you're seeing some of the best players in the country play, arguably, you know, a better field than you would face at the national championship in the Cleveland Country Club's been a great host for that backdrop. Yeah, it is. I think it's hard for people to understand because, I mean, you have – everybody here is ranked nationally so I mean you know we're sitting in ninth and the reality is we're beating two or three teams ranked ahead of us I mean it's just it's that difficult so we always have high expectations and high hopes but I mean our girls are competing hard I think it's sometimes you assume it's just going to be easier at home and sometimes that's not the case and um, you know I felt like we were ready to play but uh, I'll also say this golf things can change quickly I mean sure. one hole one bad hole for one team and one good hole for one team can can erase a lot of shots so you know our deal for tomorrow is just we don't want to give up like we want to come out try and have our best round and you never know what can happen and uh, so that's kind of our mentality tomorrow is to, to finish with our best try and move up the leaderboard and see what happens well one thing's for sure there's always a lot of action on the final round of a tournament we look forward to that tomorrow coach thank you for your time thank you